Hi, and welcome to the Bankers View from Cyboss video series, looking at all the hot topics here in Toronto this year. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Judd Holroyd, who is Head of Global Product and Innovation at Wells Fargo. Judd, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. What would you say is the sort of big buzz at Cyboss this year? You know, I think it's interesting. There's a few key themes that are really interesting. Big data is clearly one. I think we're finding a, a lot of discussion about the intersection between data and artificial intelligence. Um, I don't think you can be overly intelligent if you don't have the data, I think is the, the broad point. The uh, intersection with fintechs and banking continues to be a really interesting topic. And I'd say cybersecurity, like top of the list. Okay, uh, you mentioned big data. How do you think transaction banks can get more out of that? Uh, big data. You know, I think you got to really have a data strategy that looks at how your data is distributed, right? Or the reality that data is distributed typically throughout our franchises. How do you pull that in, concatenate it, and make it accessible so that you can leverage it with things like artificial intelligence? I think the trick is really the collection. Um, of the data, you hear a lot of talk about things like data lakes, right? Where do you bring that unformatted data together so you can really pull from it? Okay. Uh, artificial intelligence, as you said, another hot topic. Where do you think it can be best applied and get the best results? So, you know, I think there's so many applications, which is why people are so excited about it. Everything from payment correction and monitoring, right? I think there's a lot that we can do in the AML, the sanction space. Um, I think routing, right? I think customer service, I think operations. Um, it's virtually unlimited in terms of the applications, which I would think is what's driving so much of the buzz. Okay. And this year, the U.S. will move to real-time payments. What kind of innovation do you think will happen off the back of that? You know, I think it's really cool, right? We've watched markets like the UK develop over the last 10 or so years in faster payments. And my observation is that it really changes the consumer mindset and the expectation. Um, so I think the banks, all of us, uh, are, are really committed to driving that next level of change um, into especially the consumer marketplace. And with just the scale of the US and potentially then the opportunity to look at real-time enablement cross-border for consumers, it really brings in sort of the reality of that digital world. Okay, my last question is around fintech. You say that's a big trend as well. And I think there's been this change from fintech competition to more collaboration. How can transaction banks work best with fintechs? So I, I love this term of coopetition, right? And I think that bit of competition is really healthy. It forces the big banks who, you know, sometimes lumber along a bit to really rethink my, you know, speed to market, right? And how, how do I drive innovation quickly into the hands of my customers? Um, you know, I look at fintechs and certainly the way we look at them is there's sort of this digital fringe around what we do. And for a bank like ourselves, it doesn't have a vast international network in terms of infrastructure. It's actually a great opportunity to create that digital coverage through creative partnerships. And, um, you know, the nimbleness and the creativity is something that just brings best in class services into transaction banking. And those are largely going to be through a lot of interesting partnerships with fintechs. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Judd. And I hope you have a nice conference. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.